Peace and blessings, you ugly mofos. Welcome to another episode of He Rants. I am your host, Felix Long Trousers. Man, check this out, man. This is your first time on He Rants. I want to let you know, I'm just a random guy. I like to talk about random stuff that interests me, and I just feel like I need to inform you guys about it. If that sounds sexy or attractive to you, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as with the post notifications. That way, you always be one of the first to hear the voice. Same time, leave a like, because I'm so damn insecure. Those likes definitely let me know I'm doing a stand-up job. Same time. You gotta buy the merch. Mofo, men offering females orgasms because we're so humble. Email me. Description box below. Uh, but let's not waste no more time, man. We gotta get into this reaction video, man. This one, we're talking, uh, this is an African channel, right? Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, I am Nigerian. You know what I'm saying? Born in Nigeria. Came here when I was four years old, man, to the DMV and everything. Uh, proud Nigerian, that is. Niger boy. You feel me? But that's, you know, let's, let's continue on. But this, this video, man, this one got me, um, somebody actually sent this video to me uh, to react to, man. And um, it was one of my friends, and it's crazy. It's definitely crazy, right? Because this is a controversial topic, right? Which I don't feel like it should be controversial. Um, but it's pretty much a board of Africans, you know, African millennials and everything, right? And pretty much they're asking a the question, should there be a mandate for DNA tests, right? Pretty much the moment a child is born, should, you know, the doctors come, boom, automatically swab the kid, swab the dad, and make sure that the child is theirs at birth and i feel like the most easiest answer to that is absolutely i think we all know what makes the most sense right we all know is to give that dude a dna test at the beginning there right but let's see if everybody agrees in real life what actually happens you know in, in, a, in, a, in a practical in a practical universe what actually mm -hmm. happens Especially mistakes happen i think men have the right to know for sure God but bless you. it's definitely thank you, it's thank definitely you, thank you, no thank problem like guys no problem like, guys no, like, it's insulting kid. though i mean i think men definitely deserve to know if it's their right um just like if a woman's like out there like that she deserves to know who the father is as well but i think it's definitely insulting if you're in a relationship and you're married and your partner wants you to have a DNA test, you know, it's more that ain't straight. No, no that kid not yours. That's the kid way not more yours. You raise okay. it. It's like yeah, you yeah. raise it, and that's you know that's it's your child at the end of the day. But, but if you had together. known that and yeah. you had that, you, like, so you didn't get that person that decision. I feel like if you're in a marriage, you're happy, you're having babies. And it takes a lot to get to that place where, you know, you're having babies with someone if you're responsible. Um, for the question to be asked, can you take a DNA test? I mean, are you kidding me? Like, what is this? Like, what did we go down the aisle for? What did we say those vows for? If you're not gonna automatically know that this baby is yours. Yeah, here's the, here's the thing about that, right? Uh, for the most part, I see what she's saying, right? But here we go. We're headed to La La Land. La La La. Wait, what the hell am I saying? La La, La La Land, right? So we're going to. We're headed to La La Land, right? Uh, people forget that fifty percent of marriages end in divorce, and majority of those uh, divorces are because of infidelity. Uh, I know a lot of people gonna say because the man, right? The man been cheating and stuff. Like, hey man, let the man cheat. God damn it. All right, let the man cheat. Sorry, let me stop. But it's a lot of times the woman has cheated. Also, uh, they don't talk about that. Like I said, women are really, really good at cheating. Um, so most of the time, men are really sloppy. Like they'll sleep over the side chick's house. Women won't do that. They'll, you know, smash the dude, then take a shower, head back home, spray some little Victoria's Secret stuff, and no, nobody be the wiser that she was just cheating and stuff, right? Uh, but yeah, so. When she's saying this, right, she's saying that in the perfect world, like, people just don't cheat. Like, it's impossible for a woman to cheat. People don't know this. I think one, is it one out of three or one out of four uh, tests come back negative? Yeah, well, one out of three or one out of four tests come back negative for the father not being the child's father, right? Uh, so that's pretty much saying, well, technically, I guess he wouldn't be the father not being the child's father. But you know what I'm saying? Pretty much saying, like, bro one out of three one out of four that's 33 percent or 25 percent depending on which number it is i gotta look that up but uh i'm pretty sure it's it's 33 percent. i think it's the one out of three but um that's pretty much showing you that there's a lot of women out here lying about dudes being the father of their babies man a lot meaning that there's a lot of girls out here cheating or doing promiscuous stuff out here man it's crazy it's crazy let's not waste so much time to say it's yours so this is what i'm gonna say Mm. <laughs> I think that y'all want this to be <laughs> mandated because of a conversation you 
are not strong enough to have with your girl. One. Two. You requesting DNA, I, first of all, this is a very gendered question, right? There's no way for a woman, well, let me not speak for every woman. Mm -hmm. For me mm -hmm. specifically, there's no way if my man came up to me, I wouldn't feel some type of offense. But fine, if you have, you have the right to know whether it's your child or not, because I know this is my child, right? But to say that it's mandated is where I have a problem. Who, who was picking up those costs? The U.S. government? The U.S. government should be paying for these mandatory tests oh for you to know. No, no, because no. no. First of all, we have so many issues in this country already. To fact, to to then place that type of payment on the U.S. government Just is add wrong. It to a plan. No, Just on your no. Plan. You see, you see, you see what people do when they don't really have an argument, son. You bring up some irrelevant stuff. What the hell does that have to do with anything right now? What, what the hell? The, the government spends money on the most stupidest things out there, man. You know the, you know the government is spending, up, I think, $20 million a year uh, to teach LGBTQ stuff in Pakistan? Did you know that? $20 million a year. What the hell? It's not about... To me, I don't really care about teaching the LGBTQ stuff. My thing is, it's in Pakistan, not America. Our money is going towards it. Our money gets put towards all stupid stuff. This is actually makes sense. She just wants to, I, I don't get it. Like you just don't want to be held accountable or something like that. You want dudes to be out here not knowing that they're the father of the child. Cause like I said, there's a lot of dudes out here taking care of children that are not theirs. They have no idea. They have no idea, son. Huh? So I don't know what this woman is talking about, man. She's just bringing up irrelevant stuff just to prove a point. Just to prove a point. I don't understand. She probably cheats. She probably cheats. And here's the thing. By doing it, I, I, I kind of understand what she said earlier, too, when she said it's a conversation you don't want to have with your girl. I mean, yeah, maybe. Maybe also, maybe that might not be the girl for you if you think that the child is not yours. But you never know. Like I said, women are really, really good at cheating. Uh, if you had no idea, there's, there's dudes that have really had no idea, thought the girl was a goody two-shoes, come to find out the baby's not theirs. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's definitely possible. But if you mandate it, it stops the problem of even having to ask. Now, it's just automatically. The baby's check. If the baby, you know, the father, if you the father of the baby, it puts a lot of more pressure on the woman than the man, obviously, right? Wouldn't you want that? Wouldn't you, as a woman, especially if you know you've been promiscuous, wouldn't you want to know for sure that this guy was the father of your baby? You know, some women wouldn't, right? Because probably most of them probably already know who the father of the baby is, and they don't want that dude to be the father of the baby. They want this guy to be the father of the baby, right? Because the other guy might be a beatnik or the guy might not want to, uh, 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 you know, step up to the plate or anything like that. There's countless reasons. This happens more than you know. I'm telling you that right now. This happens more than you know. It's sad and scary out here, man. And this girl is just trying to bring up stupid stuff, talking about, freaking, oh, yeah, who's going to pay for it? Like, come on, Slim. Like, come on, son. That's Back to, to then place that type of payment. On the U.S. government is wrong. It to a plan. No, Just on your no, plan. no. And first Check of all, the box first, of all yeah. first of all, healthcare doesn't does not cover so many ailments that are like people are dying from. I get not, that. Not even, so, not even just so, ailments, like just like feminine just, products. Just, just, like. just feminine mm. products. So for you to make that mandatory, that would have to be a government do you issue. Know, do you know that? If you want a mandatory mm. test, which I do, you pay for it which yourself. I better get. You pay for it yourself. I got the money for it. So that's fine. That's fine. So that's fine. So let's make it clear. So let's make it clear. Because you know that a lot of women. Let me finish my sentence. All right, go ahead. Let me finish my sentence. I personally pay taxes. And I care about where my money goes. I'm not here to pay for so and so because there's a confusion about who's the father. That's not my business. Handle your your personal shit. And for me, I want to fund schools. I want to fund the MTA because the trains are never on time. We got bigger problems. We have bigger problems. I'm sorry. I'm not paying for no mandatory tests. When you're saying <laughs> mandatory, mandatory requires everyone to do it. No, not everybody can I'm pay for it. No, no, that's no, you. No, you no, added. No, you no, added. No, you're no, adding no, stuff. You're okay, adding stuff. Hey, man, let me finish my okay. shit. Ooh. <laughs> when you say mandatory, that includes people that are having children that don't necessarily have the money to pay for this test. A mandated they thing is you children. is going to be covered by the government. So that means if you can't. So afford it, if you can't afford it. So, but you're not. So well, here's know. my thing. So the U.S. government is going to take. Cuz said it. Cuz said it right there. If you can't afford it, why are you even having kids? Why are you even having kids? If you are not able to afford it, so you out here riding a cock carousel, inserting yourself with the men's juices, and you can't even have kids, come. 
Man, that bald headed girl in this joint, bro. She's uh, uh oh, there's two bald headed jokes in here. <laughs> but the one that's been rapping this whole time, man, she's 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 not the type of girl you want, man. She's not the type of girl you want. She will she will rap you uh, out your ear, man. She started. She's the first one started raising her voice. Started raising her voice. Started getting upset, right? It's just like, bro, women do not want to hold other women's accountable, son. She's talking about stupid stuff like that. Who the heck is thinking about that right now, bro? Who the hell is thinking about that? You paying taxes for people who are on welfare right now who are not trying to get a job. There's a lot of people on welfare right now who are not trying to get a job. Just collecting checks. You're paying You're paying on that? This is actually something I feel like is, makes sense. It's needed, son. It's needed. It makes perfect sense. Let's continue. The government is going to take care of it. We have too many other issues that are way more pressing than you knowing the, the 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 fidelity of your relationship and whether that be your child if you personally want to check for your child that's you but to say that it's mandatory across the country that's no, crazy no, and no, it's inconsiderate no, no, no. and it's no so, so so you saying that you're saying that, that, you're saying that you will pay for it right yeah, I'll pay for so it. if it if it costs five thousand dollars you're gonna pay for a dna test that cost five thousand dollars does it cost five thousand dollars for every child it doesn't matter i think the question though would you be okay with your wife having you do a lie detective test whether you cheat on yeah, her or sure. not why not but if you but if you were doing something wrong though i wouldn't be exactly so why would the dna be like mandatory cheat. god <laughs> bless you man. why are we even at this time but this is what i'm saying this, this question like I don't they're legitimately going around the whole this whole thing was should it be mandated that's the whole argument why are they bringing up all this irrelevant stuff why, why is this even a panel listen i'm not trying to man <laughs> You guys know I'm your famous, your your your, your very favorite uh, uh, homophobic, transphobic, uh, freaking misogynistic bigot, racist, right? You guys know that that's what I am, right? But even this, I'm just like, bro, like when you have a panel with, with women, son, it's crazy. This is not even that hard of a debate. It really isn't. Why is she bringing up all this irrelevant stuff that has nothing to do with what we're talking about right now? She's worried about, oh, did the dude cheat too? Who cares if he cheated, bro? Who cares? I honestly don't care if the girl cheated. I really don't. I'll be honest with you. If she cheated, I don't care either. What matters is if she cheated and this is my child, I'll take care of this kid. If she cheated and this is my child, I'll take care of this kid. Me and her are done if I find out that she cheated. Me and her are done. At least I know this child is mine. You know what I'm saying? She worried about oh oh oh. So if the girl if the girl find you find out the girl was cheating, basically that's basically what she's saying. That's basically well, what if you, what if the guy was cheating too? Who the hell cares, bro? Is the child minds or not? That's all that matters. Is the child minds or not? If the child's not mine, I'm gonna keep you pushing. I'm gonna leave you right there, bro. You go find the dude that you cheated on me with. That's your child. I mean, you know, tell him like yo, that's your child and stuff. We keep it moving. All this extra stuff talking about like, oh, maybe he cheated too. So the hell, what if he cheated, bruh? The only reason that would matter is if he got another girl pregnant, son. That's when you can bring that up. But at this point, it don't matter because you might have gotten pregnant by another dude. <sighs> at this time, but this is what I'm saying. This, this I question. Like I don't know because you know what's crazy? I don't think this in is a hospital, was... women... In, in a hospital, women do ask for a DNA test. Men do, people do ask on a leg. They'll pull yeah. a nurse aside and be like, can, can, you know, can I, I do the And that's fine. But, uh, if no. the question is about it being mandated, but, so you know, understand you know, you know what that means. The stance you know that the you question? took on this question, I think for sure that the person that was writing this was talking about a point, like they're talking about like when you're requesting it, like it should be mandatory where, like let's say a, a dad is, at, is like acting like this isn't his child. You should be able to say, oh, had this DNA test and they can't deny it. They can't deny it. If a dad is acting like that's not their child and a woman wants child. No, he cannot. If a court says you gotta take a mandatory test, you have to take it. If a court says you have to take it. But if you are mandating it across the country, understand the effects of what that's going to be versus a quarter are completely, and are completely different right. things right. so when y'all wilding talking about for wilding. Your, yes yeah, when you're wilding wild. saying that it should be mandated for the whole country when there are so many other issues Ooh. that we have to tend to listen, because listen, of your listen. personal issues personal with your girl it's both of us it's, it's, it's me and you what you over here doing what with stuff? You I don't know so, so, so you I'm speak to you her right. that's a personal problem I gotta take your word that's a personal problem not a 
country one. Is that a personal problem? It, it is a personal problem. Yeah. You don't know if that's your child. That's personal. The country don't got to deal with either. that shit. She don't know either. I'm on the yellow side. That's a personal either. problem. But you don't know either way, though. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Like, nobody I mean, knows. Like, so you, I, that's I, still I, a personal I don't trust her. I don't trust the baby. You see what I'm saying? Right? The argument is that it's personal. I think it should only be mandated if it's not if if you're not in marriage. If you're in marriage, absolutely not. Women in this situation about the the topic in which we're talking about pregnant um, pregnancies and DNA tests in most cases or not is going to be you have doubts about who the women cheating and that's why the baby may not be yours. The direct topic question was from a man asking he doesn't want to raise another man's child. So in that case, who would have cheated the woman? So yeah, in those situations, it's gonna always be about a woman. You're trying to get a DNA test. If it's a man outside the relationship, he gonna bring the evidence of the cheating. He gonna bring the child. And that that's like the that's a, the, the the part where that's where it hurts the most. Like that's mm-hmm. the time where it should be mandatory. If I'm in a if, <gasps> I, if, if in you're a marriage, and then that's, but, see, but that's, that's what it happens. That's you're cheating. No, no, no. You would want that's you cheating. Let me right. try to abuse her. First Let me really tell y'all something. There it is. The shaming, cause you're cheating. That's why you're trying to accuse her. These people live in a world that women cannot do anything wrong, son. That's what society has done now. I'll say that, though. Society has definitely done that. It's made it seem like women are just peaches and roses and then dudes are just the scum of the earth, right? Right? I always say this, man. It's like it's crazy how, like, a man, if a man cheats on a woman, he's a dog, he's a scumbag, right? He's, a, he's lower than dirt. He should be buried under a jail or something like that, right? How dare he... Oh, how dare he disrespect this goddess by cheating, right? By deflowering another woman, right? <laughs> a girl cheats, what did they say? Oh, she cheated because of something he did. He did. He did He did something to make her cheat, man. He wasn't showing her enough attention. He wasn't bringing enough money. And he wasn't a man enough. That's why she cheated, right? It's still the man's fault? So so you're telling me if, if, if the man cheats, it's his fault. If she cheats, it's his fault too? So, so is this world that we live in that we cannot hold women accountable for anything and women can't hold themselves accountable it's crazy their friends can be saying something stupid and they're not going to even try to confront their friends because they want to win the argument especially if it's against men if it's against men they're going to oh they're just going to ride but i'm like nah we're not going to we're not going to allow this man to come over here and win this this goes against the patriarchy you know what i'm saying it's just freaking stupid these girls are not backing down even though their, their their argument makes no sense their argument makes no sense who the hell cares you re- do you really care about where the money is going you say oh because it's mandated it's like do y'all really do you really give a damn honestly do you really give a damn like i said money is going the government is spending money on stupid stuff do you guys often know about there's bills being signed off every year it that does this mean like look up the omnibus spending bill Look at look up the omnibus spending bill. If you see the garbage that's in that bill that we are paying for in taxes, you tell me that this is something that can actually help a lot of people. But mainly men, honestly. Mainly men. Uh, but I could say it can help women too. Because there's a lot of women out here saying that these men are their fathers and the guys is saying, no, this, this child is not mine. This child is not mine. If it's mandated, she finds, she says, this guy is the father. And they force him to get a DNA test. Boom, find out that he's the father. Boom, problem solved. This helps women out as well. They don't want to see it that way, though. They see it as, oh, man, that means you're just exposing a woman. And we don't know if the man cheated now, right? We don't know if the man cheated at all. But the woman but the woman gets at fault if she cheated and had a baby with another man. That's basically what the, I feel like that's all they care about. They, they care about that. It's just, oh, oh, she's the only one that's getting into trouble. Not to do. It's crazy. It's, this is the world we live in, bro. This is the world we live in. <laughs> I just, I, I don't know what to say, man. Like, this, it's getting wild out here. It's getting spooky. First of all, it does have, it's, it's not a, it, when it's in that situation, more times than not, when it's like a relationship, it's usually the oh, woman man. who's committed infidelity. Hey. Because the guy, the guy is, the guy is assuming if you're in a relationship, if you're married and you're in a relationship, the man is assuming, and most times when you're on murder, you're watching these cases, or you hear about oh, these yeah. stories. When, I, you're assuming, yeah, you're, like real, but okay. you're assuming that. I almost died because Shabai said. Um, women are usually the one that's unfaithful. He sounds like he's guilty or something because a lot of time in a lot in a lot of culture, the men is normally the one that's out there cheating. 
And even even guys that are religious, even people that are, I know people personally that are, you know, that go to church every Sunday, but they still cheating on their wives. So I don't know what he's talking about. The person that you're with is automatically, that's the, that, that's, that's your the child. Kid. That, and that's why a man asks no. this question. It was it was directly gender related. A man is asking that question. If you're outside, that's another big thing because everyone's right to do. They were single, whatever. But when you're with somebody, the person that have a question is about if they're the um the father of that child. They go through the rest of their of this child's life taking care of it. And if that was me, like yeah, after 18 years, they're not gonna turn your back on the child. But if I had known from day one, I'm out. Hold take up, pause. First of all, I'm women out. take care of children that aren't theirs all the uh, fucking time yeah. and don't make a That's big ass different. deal about Wait, it. Hold 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 no, pause, pause. No, 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 First of all, you can make the same argument uh, uh, for, for men who go date women who are single mothers and have kids. You know what I'm saying? You can make the same argument. But this argument is still stupid regardless on either side. Whoever, men or women who make this argument, it's a stupid argument. Because at the end of the day, like they said, it's a choice. You saw that this child is not yours because clearly that child existed before you even met this person. You saw the child is not yours, and you decided to jump on there and decided like, yo, I want to have a relationship with this joint. That's a decision that you made. You made that decision. This is different now. Because now this is a child that you're not even sure if it's yours. You've been in a relationship with this person. The baby popped out, and, and she blew me when she kept, I know I'm repeating myself, but she blew me when she said that, oh, most societies, these men that cheating. Maybe, but in Western culture, man, I feel like it's about the same amount. Maybe even more for women. I'll be honest with you. Like I said, they're really, really good at cheating. It's not even really that they're as good at cheating. It's more of that men are very, uh, uh, they have a very big ego, right? They just they just can't even imagine a girl cheating, right? They, they live in this world that women can't cheat. And that's why a lot of women are able to just go, go around smashing. How many dudes have you been hearing saying they've been smashing dudes? I mean, uh, smashing dudes. Who <laughs> no, no. Smashing girls with boyfriends. You hear that all the time. But for some reason, people still have this narrative that women out here are out here really cheating. I'm gonna tell you this: I'm in a frat. I'm in a frat. Do you know how many girls that I ran across that have boyfriends doing the most wildest stuff? I'm not gonna go into extreme detail. Doing the most wildest stuff out there, bro, with other dudes. I'm not gonna say myself because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna incriminate myself like that. But doing wild stuff out there, and they swear up and they got boyfriends. Taking juices to the face and all that stuff. Relationship is quote unquote perfect, according to them, but they just want to have fun. You know what I'm saying? Or what about the girls who go out there and mess with celebrities? And and and, and, and people are gonna be like, oh, you're you're bringing a small population of, of those women. No, 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 no. I'm not just talking about they. There's girls who do that with regular everyday dudes, man. Cheat. I'm telling you, son, it's, it's out there. I don't know why people act like it's just a rare thing. It's only men that get shot cheating. Like I said, men are stupid cheaters. They're stupid. Like I said, they'll sleep over a side chick's house. They'll, 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 they won't pick up their phone while they do. They, they, while, they're just stupid cheaters, man. They'll have text messages. Girls will delete their text messages. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know what matters? Because dudes don't even go through girls' phones most of the time. And if you do, they're going to try to. And that's the funny thing. A lot of women will try to freaking clown you if you, feel, if you ask, oh, can I go through your phone? They're going to clown you. They're gonna they're gonna clown you and you're gonna feel like man I can't go through a phone that's some pussy boy stuff right they, and that's how much influence women have to try to trick you and make you feel like you're wild and insane that's wild they're very manipulative I barely str I struggle like hell to say that word man but yeah you know what the word I'm trying to say they're very manipulative and I, I, I gotta make this clear it's not all women son but it's a lot of them in Western culture specifically and this woman is bald head. I pray for a dude who wipes her. Son. I doubt that she can get wiped. If she gets wiped, then my God. But I pray for the dude who wipes her because she is crazy. She is crazy. She's the only one screaming, son. She's the only one screaming. And she's not even making no sense. Screaming not making no damn sense. Coming up. The whole argument is about freaking mandates. This is just going to something else. What are they even talking about now? Pardon. You know, so pause. pause. What I'm making a declaration between is the fact that this is a personal problem that you have with your girl no. and you're making a country responsibility when we have other things to tend to first if it's not mine i'm walking away that's it that's it nothing else to talk about if you're just talking about what i'm gonna do i don't know what they're gonna do but I'm, I'm out i don't think there's any issue with a man taking care of another man's child women do it 
all the time, whether you know or not. He might bring another child and say, oh, I had I, I had this out of our wedlock, you know, what are we going to do? Or he's taking your money and, and paying child support to another family. You had no idea. So when we're just like jumping like, oh, oh, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. Hold on. It's already being done. You could have been doing so many other things with your life. You could have been figuring your life out. I don't know, feeding pigeons. I don't know, doing anything but you raising a kid that is not yours. I mean, if you had the option to know that was your kid and you wanted to raise that kid, um, that's perfectly fine. A lot of people do that. But when you don't know, you're doing it out of the um, obligation or the mindset that this is my child, I'm gonna raise him or her, I'm gonna raise him up, I love them, this is my, DNA, this is my um, blood. And then come to find out that's not your kid. There's, there's a clear like disrespect going on right and if i have if, and, and double standard mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes i understand it's 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 fucked up if somebody has a child for you and and, and it's not for you and yeah, expecting right. you to raise it i get that but what i'm saying is that women first of all have to do that all the time but we right, have yeah. but first of all not first of all, all time. First, time. Yes, women are in these the women are women in know. these circumstances you oh, my can, you I, can that, i though. finish my go damn ahead, sentence go ahead, go ahead. Women are in the circumstance where they need to take care of a child that isn't theirs all the time. And I understand that, again, that it ends up being a choice, right? Because you, 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 and you're it aware. Is a can it I, can I, so that's what I said, Sh Shabazz. So what's so, up? But you're not making so, it. That's I like, am making a point. If you let me finish, I would yeah, finish yeah, it. You're saying you saying I am. Ahead, so ahead. stop interrupting because me. Because you're not It'll saying be, nothing. Because you keep interrupting go me. Ahead, finish it. Finish it. Finish it. So we can, so we can say the same thing we were saying. You're not giving the person a choice. Oh me and Akron talking about it's a choice. I, I, I just, you, I just said that. Everybody's sitting there looking at you the same way. No, we're trying to let that go. I forgot to mention this. Them two bald head joints, man, they're crazy. I don't know if it's something about, like, the lack of hair. Maybe they, they stress themselves out so much that the hair started falling out. I don't know what it is. But clearly, they both on the same wavelength or something like that. Or or bald length, because they don't have any waves because they bald as hell, son. This is, this is freaking ridiculous. Yes, it is. Oh, that's you. That's you. That's you. You're trying to clean that. First of all, I understand it's a choice, but we don't make a choice that we end up doing a personal problem for the go for the government to handle. You're going about just the government because, again. Just because. Nobody give a damn about the government. But we're, like, we're talking about a mandatory decision. If you got to do a mandatory you thing, glasses, you if you got to make a mandatory <laughs> decision, someone else has to pay for it. Right. What I'm saying is that women have to face this all the time. By right. choice or not, it doesn't matter. Imagine. You don't, you don't need, matters. the government doesn't need to take up it for matters. you because you didn't know about something. So are you That's just what it is. The government doesn't need to take up for you. Hey, I bet you if you brought it to her and said like, listen, man, for these women who are single mothers without dads, I mean, without, uh, you know, without the fathers in their life, right? They shouldn't get welfare. They shouldn't get welfare. No, no, no. She would get triggered off of that, right? I bet you she would. She'd be like, oh, well, she, you know, this is a personal thing. You decided to have sex with this guy and then, you know, him leaving. That's personal. Why should the government take care of that? Why, why, why should they? You know what I'm saying? It doesn't make sense. You you decided to, to have sex and then, you know, the dude left. That's a personal stuff. You chose the wrong guy. She wouldn't like that. This, this, this is it. She's talking about double standards. She wouldn't like that. And, like, listen, like, I'm going to keep repeating it. I don't know who's going to wipe this show in episode. She's the type of joint that has to be right. She has to be right. She refuses to be wrong. She's the only one getting loud. Just like he said, everybody's out here looking at her like she's crazy. Even the girls are even like, they probably even realize while watching this, like, uh, we're not really making a strong point right now. Like, the other girls are starting to get quiet. The bald head joint, she the only one yelling at all the, like, it was the other girls kind of like, uh, but you know, the funny thing about women, they don't want to hold each other accountable. So they're going to allow her to keep going, right? They're going to allow her to keep going. Even though she's not making a strong point. She's not making a strong point. She's just repeating herself. Saying stupid, irrelevant stuff. Cuz called her out on it. She got mad. And she just went ahead and still said the same thing. This is crazy. This is the world we live in now. This is the world we live in now. And now women are surprised why men do not want to be in relationships. Do not want to get married. Shocker, right? This is a shock. Let's just let's continue, man. My, 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 my blood is like boiling, man. Thank God. Thank God I'm married, man. I'm married to, a, I feel like, a girl that won't put me through this, man. But I'm pretty sure she'd even agree. Actually, she, I think I talked to her about her, uh, talked to her about something like this, and she agreed, like, why not? 
Especially with her, she said she doesn't, she knows she don't cheat, so she's like, hey, anytime you want a DNA test, because I make jokes, but she's, she be dead serious, she's like, yo, if you want to take a DNA test, all right, I ain't feeling no type of way, go ahead and do it, because I know the baby's yours. About something. So are you That's just what it is. Oh, the government doesn't need to That's a personal thing. Like, so what do you mean? There's mad petty shit that government pay for. That your taxes, that you work for, that go to. Are you done now? Are you done? Are you done? Shabazz, say what you gotta say. Thank you. That whole situation, you didn't say not a damn thing. It revolves around choice. If a woman wanna stick around for the kids, so because of that, choice, hold up, the no, government let should, should be included. I let you in. Let, let me finish. After you made that choice, you know that this, this child did not come from your womb. You're sitting there, or you take a man that has kids. You make that choice. All I'm saying, we're all playing the fields equal. If I know this is not my child, then let me get the choice. Don't allow somebody to go through the whole life of the children being being in, being. In but have you, you, can, you, can get, you can get a DNA test though, but don't make it mandatory, mandatory. for the whole country. <sighs> Shabazz can do whatever he want, with whoever he want, as many times as he want. I really don't care. You, you have a right to know if this is your child. My issue with him specifically is that you are making it a bigger, a bigger deal than it needs to be. If you personally are not sure about this child being yours, handle that on your personal level. Don't give the government or the country that responsibility to handle your shit. You was man enough to stick it in whoever, be man enough about asking about the results. I definitely think Shabazz would be the kind of guy who cheats and then come back and ask for a DNA test because that's how it always works out. In my own personal experience, I was being cheated on and I was being accused of doing something, but you know, God works in mysterious ways. So things ended up revealing themselves. And I'm like, oh, okay, I thought I was the one cheating. You were accusing me, but here you are. The, it's right there. How do you explain yourself? I have a question. What about the men who don't take care of their kids? That don't pay child support. Doesn't the woman still have to take care of them? That's the woman's fault. If no, you but the thing is, life. if it's a choice, they don't have a choice. If it's their kids and their husband don't want to pay child support, the woman still have to take care of the kids, though. But that's but the... Then you, you can go to court for that, though. Court, be, no, what are my friends... No, 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 what I'm saying is... If, no, what I'm saying is one of my friends is going through that right now. Going to court doesn't still don't do anything because the guy can't pay child support and she has to take care of the kids. Is that a choice? But that's her decision to have a baby with somebody that don't that, got no money or no shit. job or no. That ain't shit. Right the way you put but that, it's like, don't lay in bed with a man that don't got shit then. But what if he had a job and then he loses it? But he's... So that's a different situation though, but that's not even what we're talking like, about right now though. Like, like, he's going out of his way not to pay. Him. And he had a job and obviously she sees something in him that makes her not want to be with him. So That's, a, that's a different that. point. If it was me, I would want to. I would want a DNA test. So, under any circumstances, you'd want a DNA test, even if you were married or no, in a relationship with this person. So then, why you want to do mandatory? Why not? No. I don't understand that at all. It it so 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 you're so married, and that's the whole time you were out. Get this guy off the panel. That didn't even make any type of sense whatsoever. What the hell is he even talking about? What is he talking about? Why wouldn't you, Sean? Just you. Just, what difference would it make if you're married or not? You think she can't cheat on you? She still can cheat on you just like you can cheat on her. You feel like, oh, the ring is on. Oh, man, this ring is, is going gonna, is gonna to put my penis away and it's going to put her vagina locked up until unless we're next to each other or something. Like some type of negative positive bond or something. Like, come on, son. What is he talking about, bro? Stupid. Now he gave them an opening. Now he gave them an opening for his stupidity. And now that's all they need is a small little opening for them now that they think they're going to be right. Even they even say it like that shit over makes sense, bro. Like, what is this guy talking about? Now, if anything, ask, if you ask have, and get one. If you, if you, if you, if if anything, if somebody wants to have mandatory DNA te testing, which I think is stupid anyway, it would probably make more sense if you were married because you yeah. that there's more of an incentive, more to, of an incentive know to know before you. But you, you should know. Reason. You're married. Right. Right. Yeah. That, 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 that's no, 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 that's no, no. assuming that, that everybody's that, good. No, everybody's why, good. Why, why are you that's married? Do you trust the woman that you married? Oh, so now every marriage is perfect. No, no. And that's why I said I want to do it during marriage. I want to do that during marriage. It's hard to have because it is. There's, there's, there's. On one side, there's, there's an inherent assumption that everyone is. Happy faithful married, and happily married, married when they're married. But, but there is no, the woman is there is no me, assumption. Me, it's just the fact that finish. one, if you not, if you think that this person is not being faithful to you so to the point where you have to let doubt me, it, me, don't be with me, that person. Let me, then just let me finish. People change. Just because you got married and everything was hunky dory and you guys trusted each other doesn't mean that three months after y'all seal the deal, 
your husband's out there in Thailand smashing a whole bunch of right. prostitutes. Anything can happen. That's life. Can it's I human nature. And this, and, can but, I, wait, wait, can I, quick. I just want to say something because like that, the way y'all come in is making it seem like it, it's just a perfect absolute. world. My, I, I got a very much personal tie to this type of See. situation. Like my dad, before he passed away, he has a child right now, my half daughter, and it's very much apparent that that's that wasn't yeah. his child. My half sister. I'm a positive. There aren't any kids. Hey, Crown, it looks like you're dodging the question. What is the answer? If you're in a relationship, if mm -hmm. you're married, you're still going to request your wife or your girlfriend, okay, girlfriend maybe, but your wife to have a DNA test? I said earlier, no, I'm not going to ask for the marriage. If I'm married, I'm not going to ask for the DNA test. But okay. if we're just like an emotion doing whatever, I'm gonna like, yo, this is a request. It I mean, yeah, I told you. Let me ask you a quick cool question. You, oh, see, how, you see how, wait, wait, you see how, you see how y'all putting, y'all putting the pressure on us or whatever, like, oh, this whole mandatory thing is not. All right, real quick, if you're in a relationship, isn't there times where you will be like, yo, I want you, I want us to do an STD, t STD testing, right? That's before That's we get different. into a relationship. No, 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 no. During, your relationship, relationship. Yeah. During your relationship, you never get that. During your relationship, you want to ask for an STD <laughs> test. No, I'm saying you, can't, you absolutely, absolutely can ask for an STD absolutely. test. But it's not mandatory. But I mean, but but I mean it's, it's not made for it. Would you want them to make it mandatory? No. Fire, you yes. don't, I don't need to. I, I don't need it to be I mandatory. Do, if you're exactly. not willing to do it, then I'm not going to sleep with you, period. And this is my case. You have to do on a, you have to say for yourself that you're going to make that happen. No one else needs to take out that easy, that, that conversation for you. The day my husband come home and ask me for a DNA test for my three kids, let's say if we have three kids, I am filing for divorce the second day because <laughs> bottom line is... Guilty. No, you're I'm guilty. not guilty. No, you're guilty. That's you're not guilty. guilty. That's you're not guilty. guilty. You're guilty. I'm okay. married with so, you. I'm guilty. married. That's guilty. I'm married. You're guilty. All right, guys. Uh, this video is pretty long, man. I'm going to put the description uh, link to it to the description below, man. I can't take this. I can't take. They're not even talking about what what the whole thing is. I mean, it's 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 just it's just crazy to me, man. Um, it's, it's not even that deep. Like I told you guys, I believe that it should be mandated. It makes a lot of sense. Why why not mandate it? Why not make it so everybody can just know off the rip? It makes it's good for the mom, good for the dad. Everybody just knows all this stuff about oh the government should do. Like bro, it's not that big of a deal. So. Like I said, if you're gonna make that, are you gonna do you make that same argument for women on welfare? Single moms are the, are the highest demographic on welfare, man. Did anybody say that? No? No one's gonna say it was a personal issue? Personal that they that they were, you know, they had babies with a guy who wasn't good or didn't have money or they didn't have money at all. That's not personal. You know what I'm saying? But you say that for this. Cause it go because it cause it holds the woman accountable, right? It puts the pressure on the woman, right? Rather than the man. Bringing up all these stupid arguments. It's just I, I don't know how you can watch this and really think the other way, man. Those girls, I, I, I don't know. I, I wonder if they even believe. I feel like a lot of them don't even believe what they're saying, except for the bald headed joint. She's just, they're bringing the ball. And Cuz came out at the end with the freaking STD argument. That was a stupid argument, too. So I gotta, I gotta call it even, man. That was a really stupid argument. I don't know why he brought that. I don't know if a lot of people's out here really caring about STDs and stuff, unless they really think that the person's really out here cheating, too. Maybe. I don't know. The baby thing makes more sense to me than the STD one, but I guess I don't know. Maybe some of you might think that's a smart argument. Let me know, man. I don't know, but this this whole thing was just it just got my blood boiling because I'm like the stupidity in it. But that's all I gotta say, man. If you stay this long, I appreciate you. I love you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as with the post notifications. That way, you always be one of the first to hear the voice. Same time, leave a like. Cause I'm so damn insecure, and those likes definitely let me know I'm doing a stand up job. Same time, you gotta buy the merch. Mofo, men offering females orgasms because we're so humble. Email me. Description box below. That's all I gotta say. Peace and blessings, you ugly mofos. And I'm out. Uh, 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 uh.